little friendos. Guys, if you are looking to save money and not spend a dime, you need to click off this video fast. Go hide your credit card, girl, because I'm about to tell you my recommendations for the Sephora sale for the rest of you. If you have that money just burning a hole in your pocket and you can't wait to spend it, girl, this is the video for you. Just stay tuned. Oh, friendos, friendos. The Sephora sale. Can I just say 20% off? <laughs> it's kind of a joke. Like, not quite a joke, but kind of. Like most people, I feel like don't hit rouge. And you guys might actually be shocked to know I haven't hit rouge either. No year of my life have I ever hit rouge. That's absolutely going to change this year though because now I do YouTube videos and I buy a lot from Sephora. So I'm actually a little bit surprised that I haven't hit rouge yet and my sister was shocked too. <laughs> but if I stay on track, I should hit rouge probably by June or July, especially now that the releases are getting a little bit more ramped up and more exciting. Yeah. I'll be hitting rouge soon. Okay, enough of that. The recommendations that I wanted to give you guys today are things that I really thought about. Now, not everything that I'll mention is a new release or something that you've heard me talk about on my channel before. The items that I wanted to mention for this recommendation video were things that I don't think will go on sale anytime soon, or they rarely go on sale. So if you are looking to pick up one of these items in the near future, here's your chance to get 15, 20, 10% off, depending where you are in that ranking system. Now, Rouge members do get first access to the sale. The sale begins for them on the 1st of April. Hold on just a second. April 1st, it's April Fool's Day. Are they calling us fools? I'll have to ponder on that and get back to you on that one. If you are VIB like myself, then the sale will start for you on April the 5th. Insiders on 4-7. Now the entire sale ends on 4-11. And again, Rouge members are getting 20% off, 15% off for VIB, and then 10% off if you are just an insider. Enough of my prattling, let's get into those recommendations. Since Charlotte Tilbury does doesn't offer a lot of sales during the year. I wanted to go ahead and just put in her airbrush matte, her airbrush matte bronzer. Now this bronzer is very nice. It is indeed matte. It's a little bit on the light side, so so if you like your bronzer to really show up on your face, I recommend that you go a shade darker than what you normally would. I just screenshotted everything I like. A lot of these are Allure Best of Beauty winners. So next is the Guerlain Terracotta Sunkissed Natural Bronzer. This is another one that kind of leans a little bit on the matte side, but but it's very skin-like. This one also leans on the warmer, bronzy, non-contour side of bronzers. It's gorgeous and Guerlain doesn't go on sale a lot, so I think that's another good recommendation. Guys, if you missed Makeup Forever's friends and family sale that happened last week, then here's your chance to still get the new foundation at a discount, because I doubt that it's gonna be going on sale again very soon. So that is the HD Skin Undetectable Longwear Foundation. I kept meaning to record this for my channel, but I did have a deluxe sample size of that foundation, and it is fabulous. It really feels good on the skin. It looks very natural and skin-like. I will just have to make a video. You know what? We're gonna have that in an upcoming video, but I will say I really enjoyed that foundation. I know a lot of you did too, so that's why it's on my recommendation list. Okay, another Dior favorite of mine has to be the Dior Air Flash Spray. Normally in a video, if you guys ask me what foundation I'm wearing because you like whatever I'm wearing so much, that's the foundation that I'm wearing nine times out of 10. It is gorgeous, it's long wearing, it's easy to touch up. If I were to get married tomorrow, you better believe I would be doing it in that foundation. I know this is feeling like the Dior hour, but again, I have another Dior foundation to recommend. It is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. It's also, it also has an SPF of 15. Gorgeous foundation. It's kind of light to medium coverage. I showed it off in another video and I told you guys if, 
If you struggle with your foundation kind of settling into lines or making your pores look more pronounced than what they actually are and basically aging you as the hours go on in wear time, try out this foundation. There's plenty of time to go to Sephora and get a sample size if, if you don't want to take that big splurge right off the get-go. But yeah, this is one of the most youthful looking foundations that I have in my collection right now. If you guys are wondering, why isn't she saying anything about Rare Beauty? She talks about it enough. And yes, I know. <laughs> it's one of those brands that I hate that I love, but I love it. But the reason why is they go on sale quite a bit. So, and the sales that they normally have are better than like 15 and 20%. So I would say hold off on the Rare Beauty. They have plenty of sales on their own website. But Makeup by Mario, however... It normally takes a while for his products to go on sale as far as like the new product releases. So I'm gonna name off some things that I've really enjoyed from him that are on the newer side of his collection. One is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick. You guys, it's such a gorgeous formula. It's very blurring. It really does just look like suede on your lips. The formula and the performance is just exquisite. And every shade is super flattering. Now I feel the same way about the Ultra Suede Lip Pencil. It glides on, it has a brush, it's just a solid lip liner. It's not on the drier end of formulation, so if you like something that's a little bit creamy but not too creamy, then again, superior lip product. And I would be remiss if I did not mention the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. I have been in love with that product. It is very similar to the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color, but it's even more comfortable and a little bit, just a little bit more blurring. Like they are both ultra blurring, but that one, I would say probably like a 10% improvement on the blurring effect from the MAC Powder Kiss. Now the MAC Powder Kiss is a little bit longer wearing, but there really is nothing like the Makeup by Mario when it comes to comfort, when it comes to performance, and when it comes to making your lips look visually plump and youthful. It is next level. So friendos, those are all of my recommendations as far as makeup goes. Again, there's plenty of other makeup that are my favorites, that I treasure, that I consider game changers, and that I love. But I just wanted to bring to your attention the things that I feel like you're not cheating yourself if you choose to buy at this upcoming Sephora sale versus waiting a couple weeks when it might be on sale for say 30% elsewhere. So yeah, that's why I didn't call out a lot of Natasha and Pat. They go on sale quite a bit. So, well, come to think of it, come to think of it. The new pastel palette that just came out, it's probably gonna be a while before that goes on sale. If you are looking for that beautiful, buildable pastel palette that just blends out like a dream, then maybe you would consider picking that one up during the Sephora sale. Everything else, I just feel like it's gonna go on sale pretty soon and probably for more money. So I shall call it there, friendos. Thank you guys a million for choosing to spend your time here with little old me and listening to all the things that I think aren't too bad of a deal to pick up during the Sephora sale. Now, very soon, hopefully by the first of next week, I will have my Jeffrey palette. To tell you guys the truth, Beautylish kind of screwed me again. I ordered from them instead of ordering from Jeffrey's site, and I was supposed to get expedited shipping, but the expedited shipping was supposed to be free because I put like over $80 worth of product into my basket at checkout. And this is the second time when I've done that for the sole purpose of getting the free expedited shipping and my product still has not shipped. So I know everyone else is probably gonna have their video up before I do, so that's just life, but I will have that video coming to you guys very soon. I'm wishing you all a phenomenal rest of your night or day. It's night here. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Let me know what you plan to pick up during the Sephora sale. Is there anything that I forgot to mention that I should have? Leave it down in the comment section down below. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. And lastly, friendos, if you haven't subscribed yet, what in the world are you waiting for? I sincerely hope that you will subscribe 
Because if not, we'll both have to live in the shadows of never knowing what could have been. Okay, guys, have a great one. Bye.